First you separate, and then you integrate Just follow these steps, and you will do great First you separate, and then you integrate Just follow these steps, and you will do great Here's the season to be serving When I was solving equations, I was feeling amazing How to make it through calculus, part two Consider this a corollary to the Neil deGrasse Tyson talk now, when I say how to make it through calculus, I'm talking about how to excel in the course. If you're an AP calculus, I'm not talking about just making a three on an AP exam. I'm talking about what you need to do in order to get a five and an A in the course. If you're taking calculus on the collegiate level, I'm not talking about just what it takes to pass. I'm talking about what it takes to get an A in a course. And also more importantly, have a firm understanding of what was covered. So we're going to look at this from two different directions, uh, that of a high school student taking AP calculus and that of a student taking calculus in college. And these are the things you must do to make it through calculus. High school student. Well, high school student and college student, you're in calculus. Its reputation precedes it. It's a prestigious course. It's a very feared course. It's a course where people go in that are supposed to be very good at math and science. So you are in calculus. Embrace it. And as a person who has taught hundreds of students in calculus, and most of those students I taught the previous year in pre-calculus. And all of those students in pre-calculus were brilliant. And they made it through pre-calculus with a breeze. Just their talent, their intelligence alone was really sufficient to make it through pre-calculus. But that was rarely sufficient. I'm talking intelligence alone, the talent alone. It was rarely let me see. In fact, it was never sufficient to breeze through calculus. So of the hundreds of students I've seen, and all of these students were A students, some maybe B students in pre-calculus. We're talking honors pre-calculus. We're talking pre-AP pre-calculus. None of those students excelled in calculus without sincerely committing. So the talent, the, the natural intelligence, the mathematical intuition was not enough by itself. So every person, every student I've ever seen that has excelled in calculus had committed more than just being intelligent. They had to commit and put the work in. So, whether you're in high school or in college, if you're taking calculus, then it's, it's probably an important subject uh, to what you're majoring in and what you plan on doing. And so to be successful in it and understand it and comprehend it is probably of tremendous importance to you and your field. So you got to be obsessed with it. That's how you become successful in calculus. That's how you make it through calculus. You have to be obsessed with the subject and truly committed. So if you're a high school student taking AP calculus, the resources are numerous. AP classroom. You should be in AP classroom every day looking at the AP live videos. You should be on YouTube looking at MIT's open courseware videos on single variable and multivariable calculus. You should have at least one AP exam test prep book, if not more. You should be in your textbook studying what the class is going to cover before it's covered and reviewing what the class covered after it was covered. And you should be doing problems in your textbook in addition to whatever assignment was designed by your instructor, you should be doing additional problems. Practice, practice, practice. 
and you should be studying. Studying all the materials, studying all the things that you just need to have memorized, like your derivative rules, uh, your derivatives, your antiderivatives, uh, your your theorems, and also studying the studying the things that you need to understand on a conceptual level, on a more conceptual level, the, the derivative as a rate, a definite integral as a net change or an accumulation. Uh, the conditions that need to exist to utilize the mean value theorem or the extreme value theorem or the intermediate value theorem. You should be studying these things daily until those things that you just need to have memorized, you have memorized and those things that you have to understand on a conceptual level, you have understood on a conceptual level. You have to really commit to this if you really want to make it through calculus. You have to commit. If you're of the mind state, um, I'm pretty smart. Uh, I'll make it through. I've always done good in math. You might pass. You might even get a B. You might get a three on an AP exam. Maybe a four, but most, most likely a three, but maybe a four. But if you want to ace that course, uh, if you want to get a five on the AP exam, if you want to ace that collegiate course, you have to be obsessed with this stuff. One thing Neil deGrasse Tyson said, uh, talked about, which, which stands out, is the difference from algebra to calculus is so drastic. And, and this is the thing that, that gets students because, the, you know, the, the difference between the course they take before calculus and calculus is so drastic in the, in the fact that the course that they took before calculus, they probably did so well without really having to commit. And the understanding that now you have to commit is sometimes a difficult thing to do. But you should recognize it early in the course that uh, this is a new animal. And when you recognize, okay, this calculus guy, this is a new animal, and your teacher, your instructor, your professor is every day telling you about the importance of studying and being committed and being dedicated and doing the homework and doing the problem set. At some point, you need to understand what they're saying is the truth and you need to commit. So if you want to make it through calculus, if you want to be successful, of course, you got to have a certain level of intelligence, but if you're in calculus, most likely you have that level of intelligence. But in addition to that, because alone is not going to be enough, the intelligence alone is not going to be enough. In addition to that, you have to have an obsession, an insatiable work ethic to make sure you have a firm conceptual understanding of everything that's been covered and you put your all in it. If you want to make it through calculus, you have to be obsessed. Specialized in science and math men, original black men, busting thoughts that pierce your mental the fierce, ripping your saxon, vocal toe to toe, impeccable, splitting your back, son. Simple as addition and subtraction, black thought, the infinite relaxed one. 